Latvia president tipped to give Lewis Hamilton what he wants in Abu Dhabi investigation. Lewis Hamilton may well get his wish for big changes at the FIA, according to former F1 driver John Watson. Numerous reports since the dramatic events at the Yas Marina circuit at the end of last year have indicated that Hamilton's future in F1 remains up in the air. Central to Hamilton's concerns are said to be based on Michael Mossi's role as racing director. The FIA announced last month that their investigation into the controversial season finale was underway. And the drivers will get to hear the FIA's detailed analysis from that inquiry when it is presented at the governing body's London headquarters today. What that means for Hamilton remains to be seen, although the Mercedes driver is still expected to be part of the W13 car launch later this week. Most of the interest in the FIA's investigation will be centered on Mossi's future as race director. He has faced heavy scrutiny for his decisions made in the final few laps in Abu Dhabi. Mohammed Ben Salem has since taken over from Jean Todd as the FIA's new president in a shake-up behind the scenes. And Watson, who won five races in his F1 career, believes there is a chance the new FIA president will want to make some sweeping changes to get Hamilton and other drivers on board. I suppose that one of the things that has arisen is that the previous regime within the FIA, Todd and his acolytes, are effectively gone and we've now got a new broom, Watson told Racing News 365. I would like to hope that that new broom, is used, in the process of coming to terms with what occurred. To me, the whole thing, I can't say it brought the sport into disrepute, but it didn't do it a great deal of good. He added, if they want to instigate changes, and if that means personnel changes, then you've got a new view and a new look from the new management at the FIA to do so. It might have been more difficult to do if the Todd regime had continued on for a further year or whatever, because that would then be tantamount to them admitting that they, their officers, got it wrong. Because we've got a new team in the FIA, I think it's much more straightforward for them to take a more objective look at the events that occurred and go through them almost by the minute, or even by the second, to ensure that what occurred in Abu Dhabi shouldn't occur again. F1 teams have already begun presenting their new look cars for the 2022 season, which gets underway in Bahrain in the middle of March. Before then, Drivers will get their first chance of testing their new cars in Barcelona at the end of February.